My name is Megan Malik, and I'm the Director of Marketing and Community Engagement for the Denver Smith Foundation. So our organization is actually um, designed to honor a young man, Denver Smith, who was killed in 1972 uh, during a peaceful protest at Southern University. So our organization really focuses on um, building opportunities for students uh, to pursue higher education opportunities through scholarships. Uh, during the uh, Black Lives Matter movement, we found an opportunity to really tell his story um, and to share the stories of others who you may not have heard. Uh, so our murals down at Gallery Place were really dedicated to creating conversation around black women who lost their lives to police brutality and also to Ahmaud Aubrey. I think that creativity and black public art um, is instrumental in telling the um, story of many of these people and individuals who have lost their lives to police brutality. But more than anything, I think that art is really designed to create conversation um, and to stimulate dialogue that helps to further um, more conversations that we need to have around this topic. The role of public art has become a mainstream um, conversation starter amongst this topic. I think with the amount of media attention involving public art, specifically murals, um, started with uh, Mayor Bowser's approach to creating Black Lives Matter um, in front of the White House, but it created a further conversation um, that talked about how people use art as a way to create activism, um, specifically using art during um, the pandemic has been extremely important because a number of people do not feel comfortable out at the protest, um, but creating an opportunity for artists to get out there, get involved in the community, um, and to create these pieces of art that have, again, created further conversation has been extremely important um, and has helped to create an impact um, in our community, but a greater impact across the world. So because my background is not in art and because I don't actually uh, do murals myself, um, the biggest challenge was finding artists who wanted to get involved, who were dedicated enough to um, take time out of their day uh, to volunteer with us. Uh, over the course of 48 hours, we actually got 40 plus volunteers um, downtown to create uh, five different murals. Um, three of which are in Chinatown. Uh, one is with Shakespeare Theater and another one is at Fifth and K that we partnered with um, a developer on. Uh, but the hardest, most challenging part of that is, um, is really just figuring out what to do. How, to, I, you know, because I'm not an artist, you know, coming up with um, how to design the art, um, how I want to convey the messages can be, you know, very challenging. Um, not understanding maybe the mass of um, scale in which they need to be recreated. Um, but I think with the support of my team, with the support of volunteers, um, we have been able to go above and beyond what I could have ever imagined. Um, and the highlight of being featured in the USA Today um, allowed us to really talk through how activist art um, is changing the game. I know that the artist community, uh, the event community, and the theater community are definitely being hit very, very hard um, during COVID. Um, and naturally, there is a focus on just really trying to get back to some type of normalcy. But uh, my words of encouragement would be for everyone to just keep doing what they're doing. Uh, people are definitely taking note and there are lots of changes, changes happening, even though we might not be able to see them. Um, but the most encouraging piece of advice is to continue to be you, continue to use your talents um, as a voice, continue to use um, your gift um, as a platform for change.